on the Ultra LX. Hey guys, JD here with the Kawasaki Ultra LX160. And today we've got an awesome, hey Coop Coop. Coop Coop, such a good boy. Hey guys, JD here and today we're looking at the 2021 Kawasaki Ultra LX. I'm here with my dad, Andy. And Cowie Performance was nice enough to send us their anodized Gorgeous billet anodized. pump wedge for the Ultra LX. We've also got a set of stainless bolts and washers. And so we're gonna show you today how to install this wedge on your Ultra LX. Uh, the newer models do have KSRD, so the reverse bucket is a little bit different. The procedure to remove the saw is a bit different. So today we're gonna be looking at the uh, Gen 1 Ultra LX. So the first step is to remove these two 12 millimeter bolts holding the reverse bucket in place. Then we're gonna disconnect the little quick connect brass fitting right here. And we're gonna get this bucket out of the way. You can remove the step if you choose, uh, that'll make it a little easier, but we're gonna do this with a 12 millimeter box wrench. And uh, so let's go ahead and get that off. So once you loosen these, it's got a bushing and two washers. Make sure not to lose these. Before we put these back into place, we're gonna grease them up and then we will use some Loctite when we reinstall those. So now the bucket is ready to come off. We're gonna go ahead and put the ski in reverse to get access to the quick connect fitting. Okay, so as you guys can see, now that's in reverse and this fitting here. I'm gonna slide that back and then we're gonna remove this from the ski. Now the next step is to remove this steering linkage right here. Then we're gonna remove these two bilge pump lines and then we're just gonna pop these four 12 millimeter bolts and this exit nozzle will come right off. Our new wedge is gonna be installed right there between the stator and the exit nozzle. Very easy to do. This should only take about 15 minutes. I'd have it done a lot quicker if I wasn't filming it. So we've got our 10 millimeter steering linkage bolt removed. So now we're gonna remove these four 12 millimeter bolts holding the exit nozzle in place. Okay, so we've got our bolts out of the way. And here's a look at our stock pump wedge. So here's a look at the two pump wedges together. Now this is the stock wedge and it, it looks almost identical to the Cowie Performance wedge. I, I've been told that the stock wedge is a two degree wedge and we have this additional two degree wedge from Cowie Performance. So we're gonna double these up. You can see that they've got, it's got a, be, uh, a bevel in it. So you wanna make sure that those are stacked like this. So then this theoretically is gonna give us four degrees of total positive trim. All right, so we're ready to put our wedges back in. We've coated the backside of this anodized Cowie Performance wedge with grease just to hold it in place. And we're gonna put it in just like that. I think it's gonna stay. Yep. Maybe. Now, our other wedge, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna coat that in grease and then you're gonna make sure to put it, the thicker part of the wedge goes towards the bottom and the thinner part at the top. So we've got both our wedges in place. So this is gonna give us four degrees of positive trim. We put a lot of corrosion block grease on those, one to hold them in place and two to prevent corrosion. So now we're putting our exit nozzle back in place. All right, so a little bit of blue Loctite on each of these. Okay, so after you tighten your exit nozzle, then you're gonna reinstall your bilge pump Venturi lines. Those don't have a hose clamp or a zip tie. They just go on just like that. And now we're gonna reattach our steering linkage. That is a 10 millimeter bolt. We're gonna apply a little bit of Loctite. All right, so we've got our nozzle back in place. We've got our linkage for our reverse reattached. And now we're just tightening these two 12 millimeter bolts that hold the reverse bucket in place. You might need to adjust each of those cams because now the thickness of those wedges has added a little bit. So you might need to adjust those for the steering and for the reverse. 
Make sure to torque that those four 12 millimeter bolts. All right, so we've got our two degree pump wedge installed. We've got everything tightened back in place. We've got all our linkages greased up again with some corrosion block grease. Now we're gonna take the Ultra LX out in the ocean and we're gonna see if this additional Cowie Performance pump wedge gives us some more bow rise and uh, let's see if it improves handling or top speed of the 2021 Ultra LX jet ski. Let's go. We should also do a RPM, maximum RPM from our test yesterday. Yeah, so we logged a maximum RPM yesterday with the stock wedge and with, we're, fuel. with full fuel. So we're gonna go ahead and do a similar test today. All right, so we were at 7590. 7590 RPM at 56 miles an hour. Well, let's see if that wedge uh, gives us a mile an hour without doing anything different. Wow, with those two pump wedges in there, the Ultra LX is a completely different ski. The bow is up a couple inches higher out of the water when on plane. When at idle, the bow doesn't submarine as much. It rides just out of the water a few inches higher. And the ski actually feels higher out of the water as you're running. Now keep in mind we're here in South Florida in the middle of July. This was an extremely hot day. The water temp was over 98 degrees and the ambient air temp was well over 100 this day. So chances are in the cooler weather we would hit 60, maybe 61 with the same exact configuration. So, so far we've seen a good improvement in speed, right? The ski rides higher out of the water um, and you can see here at lower speed that bow cap is not even under, it's just above the water. So the final result of adding the Cali Performance anodized pump wedge to our Ultra LX160 was just under 100 RPM and three miles an hour. The ski rides much higher out of the water and has a completely different and improved handling feel. If you enjoyed this video, remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more Kawasaki content only on JD's Waterworld.